What's going on, Internet? Um, I just saw the, the Charlie Clips versus Danny Myers battle. And I have to say that uh, I'm, I, I think I, 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 don't, I don't know what else to say about Charlie Clips. Because I watched, I watched about five minutes. I watched about five minutes of the um, of of Jay Black talking about Danny Myers, and you know because he for some reason for some reason Jay Black really doesn't like Danny Myers, and a lot of and a lot of people I see don't really like Danny Myers. They say that he yells too much. Um that he's not cool enough and all of that. He didn't he didn't beat Charlie Clips. If you don't beat Charlie Clips, you don't beat Charlie Clips. And all of that and all of that um stuff. And I and I'm just like Is is battle rap ever gonna get back to the heart and soul of what it of what it is supposed to be. Is it ever going to get back to, you know, being about lyricism and, and being about passion and being about complexity? I don't, I don't want, I don't want Danny Myers to change because he doesn't have to. Danny Myers very rarely steps into the ring with somebody who is a threat. Now he battles, um, you know, as good of competition as is available, but he's not, he's, he's not going in the ring against cold blooded killers every time he battles. So I don't feel that Danny Myers needs to up his game for, other people, I think other people need to up their game for Danny Myers. I like his style. I like his presentation. I like the way he thinks. I like the way that he puts shit together. And he shouldn't have to revamp himself to fit into what current battle rap fans are looking for. I feel like if he, if, if, if Danny Myers retired today from battle rap, if he never had another battle, he would have had a very impressive career. He would have had a very impressive resume of people that he battled and bodied and had some fights against. He would have a very impressive career. I don't feel that Danny Myers needs to elevate his game so that he can be quote unquote top tier. Fuck top tier. Be good at what you do. Danny Myers is good at what he does. He is talented at what he does. He does not he does not have to change at all to fit into whatever people are into. I feel that I feel that pe I feel that people have like a bias because certain certain battle rappers have a bias. Because people will say that Mav Hopper has never won a match. And people will say Danny Myers is not that good. Like certain people, battle rap fans just don't like because they can't look. They can't look past their preference of what somebody else does. And, I, and, I, and I'm similar. I have preferences. But I believe my preference is for, you know, entertainment value my preferences for, you know, intricacy and in, in, in how to how you think out your stuff. That's what my preference is. So I, I don't even think it's a reasonable conversation to say, well, clips didn't clips didn't didn't really lose. Yeah. Basically, if clips shows up, he doesn't lose. If Clips doesn't choke in all three rounds, he doesn't lose. If he gets his bars off, he wins. Who who is these niggas who could have beat 
who could beat Clips in this mythological beat Clips shit. He beat him. He beat Clips. It's, it's like, are we haven't, like, I don't, it's like, I'm starting, like, when, when people say shit like this, that he didn't really beat Clips, it's, it's make, it makes me, it makes me question whether you should be taken seriously and what you do as a as a battle rap reviewer. It's like who like I'm trying to like who who killed clips in this killing clips thing? Like who bodied clip was Sharon one of these battles he didn't take seriously? If if he just all clips has has to do is just get his raps off. If he gets his raps off and he doesn't stumble over his words, people are going to say he didn't really lose. You can't beat no faggotry like that. You can't beat no bullshit like that. There's n all you can do is do what you do. And another thing that was said was in the, in the video I watched, because I, I'm making this more about, I'm making this more about, the video I saw and and just opinion. I'm not, like I said, Jay black is infinitely more, you know, aware of battle rap than me, but a lot of another thing that was said is he made bars that could have been said about anybody. You mean like everybody else? You mean like T-Rex? You mean like everybody who battle raps makes bars that could have, uh, the only time people actually make balls that are specific to their opponent, you know, are jokes. If somebody is criticizing somebody for being fat or criticizing somebody uh, for some for getting beat up, unless it's jokes, most battle rap balls are general balls. But that that's another knock against Danny Myers. He has a lot of general bars. So does everybody else. If you take out the jokes that Charlie Clips had against Danny Myers, what were all of these specific targeted bars? He joked about twelve thousand dollars, which is old, which I don't even understand how this how that's still a thing, because he actually battled Rex. So he actually got his money's worth. He actually, he actually got it, what he paid the money for. So I don't know how that's even still relevant. He joked about him being a ninja turtle. It was jokes, corny ass jokes. That's that's the great things you want to see targeted. I, I do think that more battle rappers need to target their opponent and speak up on their opponent and maybe if battle rap was better overall i would be penalizing danny moore for not doing it but that's like 98 percent of all battle rap that's like 90 percent of the top tier niggas this their shit is not directed and targeted at their opponent they're rapping into the sky they're just rapping in the thin air. They're just random gun bars that don't have shit to do with anything. It, it, it just bugs me because I really... Danny Myers is probably my favorite battle rapper because he always brings it every battle. And I, and I look at niggas and they just have this, 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 this affinity with swag rappers. It's not substance. And they keep saying that Danny Myers needs to change. Danny Myers doesn't need to change a fucking thing. Danny Myers doesn't need to change. The game needs to change. Other rappers need to start bringing it. And we need to see a con, a, a clash of styles. Danny Myers has a great style. He's passionate. He means that shit. And I don't care if motherfuckers like it or not. It shouldn't be changed, and Jenny Myers, if you see this, don't change for anybody. Don't let them dumbass niggas tell you you need to change. You don't. Change for who? Change for what? The game ain't, the game hasn't even caught up to Danny. 
I'm not saying that Danny Myers is the best. He's just one of my favorites. I, I I would like to see him, you know, battle, you know, you know, the hollows and the and the luxes to see how he stacks up against them. The mooks. Uh, I would like to see him do that, but I I just can't. I'm just. It just makes me sad because I'm like, what are you? Why? What are you niggas looking for? What are you niggas looking for? I don't understand. And and I'm gonna cut this video short because if you don't know who won the Danny Myers, Charlie Clips battle, then. <laughs> That was that was that was done before it was done. If you feel like Clips won, then you giving Clips credit for just showing up, because that's all he did was show up. Danny Myers wasn't the best Danny Myers ever, but he didn't need to be the best ever. He just needed to do what he usually does, and he would have, and he got the easy win, because it was an easy win. Because Charlie Clips is not that good. He is not that good. It is a lie. Charlie Clips being great is a lie. It is one of the biggest lies that has been perpetuated in battle rap for many years. And eventually niggas have got to stop saying that shit. How many times does a nigga have to lose before he's no longer considered great? I guess I should be asking T-Rex that question. But how many times does a nigga have to lose before he's no longer considered great? Let me know, man. Leave it in the comments. Um, rate the video, like it, dislike it, be honest. Subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up with what with what I um with what I have um uh, what I have coming out. The Mr. Massman at gmail dot com is how you send me a question. Um the Mr. Mass Man is how you follow me on Twitter, find me on Facebook. That's all I have to say about this subject. I will see you in the next video.